Our country has been flooded with illegal immigrants thanks to Barack Obama and his insane liberal policies. For years, these illegals have been entering America just to be a drain on our welfare system. These people have made a mockery of our immigration process and so have the liberals who have allowed it to happen. Instead of these people entering America the way many of our ancestors had they choose to be criminals. Then when hard-working Americans like you and me say that enough is enough, we are called racists. How is that for insanity? Finally, after years of being kicked around by arrogant liberals, the people spoke and we elected President Trump. Trump got right down to business and has been making liberals cry since his inauguration day. However, liberals are doing their best to stop Trump from making progress on his campaign promises. One of those promises was to halt the influx of illegal immigrants into the country. Oh, but of course liberals could not allow that to happen. So, when Trump signed an executive order that would stop federal funding to sanctuary cities the left lost their minds. A San Francisco U.S. District Judge, William Oreck, and an Obama appointee, issued a temporary order to stop Trump's executive order. This was accomplished after San Francisco and Santa Clara County argued that this executive order threatened billions of dollars in federal funding. Now, in case you were wondering, Judge Oreck is extremely liberal. For example, Oreck was the judge who issued a restraining order against the advocacy group that was responsible for undercover videos that showed Planned Parenthood employees planning on selling baby organs. But, that is not all Oreck has done. But, that is not all Oreck has done. This judge also raised $200,000 and also donated more than $30,000 to groups that supported Obama. It obvious that Judge Oreck is not too bright which is evident in his recent ruling against Trump. You see liberals have been screaming that Trump's executive order to cut off federal aid to sanctuary cities would be unconstitutional, but they were way off base. The mainstream media has been spreading the lie that Trump's executive order would cut off of all federal funding to sanctuary cities including basic federal entitlement payments like Medicaid, etc. But, the fact of the matter is that they were very wrong and that this executive order would not affect federal entitlement programs. Via Conservative Daily Post, according to Judge Oreck, Section 1373 law prohibits local jurisdictions from restricting government officials or entities from communicating immigration status information to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. San Francisco and Santa Clara's policy that they have in place prevents their local police from notifying Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, when they arrest or detain an illegal alien, which violates federal law. This provision is limited to grants only, and therefore does not affect entitlement funding. So no, there is no threat to cut off federal entitlement funding and access to programs like Medicaid, etc. Oreck further claims that the executive order raises problems under the spending clause of the Constitution because the executive branch is adding conditions to the receipt of federal funds, something only Congress has the power to do. Judge Oreck also defends his ruling by claiming that public statements made by the President and Attorney General Jeff Sessions have endorsed the broadest reading of the order. The comments that were cited by Oreck claim Trump stated publicly that his executive order is a weapon against jurisdictions that disagree with his immigration policies. Oreck cites Sessions as saying, those not complying with Section 1373 would suffer withholding grants, termination of grants, and disbarment, or ineligibility for future grants. Sessions was simply trying to point that sanctuary cities who violate Section 1373 are not eligible for justice grants. Now, while these liberal judges were able to issue an injunction on Trump's executive order they missed one small thing. The exception in this ruling allows the Trump administration to cut off eligibility programs that are in non-compliance with Section 1373. Which means that sanctuary cities are going to lose some federal funding from the Justice Department and the Department of Homeland Security. While this case moves through the court system the temporary injunction does stay in place. However, the Trump administration is still able to take action against these cities that are defying our immigration laws. It looks to me that these liberals are actually the bigger losers than they thought they were. I guess maybe next time they will read the fine print before they start celebrating a useless win, right? Let us know what you think about this. Sound off in the comments below. Let us know what you think about this. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.